Tonight. Tonight's the opening reception for World History and Geography. And, and how often do you guys have these receptions in, in these galleries? We do five shows a year, four that have a judge, one that's an invitational for high school students, and uh, we have a reception. I do a rich one. And then, and this was one of the judged ones? This was a judged one. The judge is here. Her name is Renee Kumar. I don't see her right now, but she's here. Okay. And how many different artists are represented here? We have 29 different artists. 33 works by 29 different artists. And what about the work? What was the theme of this was uh, geography? World history and geography. This is, people have been really happy. They think that this is a really high quality show, which makes me thrilled. Okay. Is this the first one that you're organizing? or? No, I've been doing this for three years. Uh, a lady named um, Fran Nimick did it for 10 years before I got on the Arts Council. But she moved away and left us without anybody to do it. And since I was the only retired person, it felt amazing. But it's fun. Right? Well, why, why are these shows important to the township? Well, there are two, really two different ways. About half our artists are very local people. South Brunswick, Plainsboro, Princeton. And, and they give the artists an opportunity to have their work seen by a wider uh, audience. And, and that's very motivating for the artists. And the themes often give the artists and the photographers a goal for a new piece of work. And that's very exciting for them. But over and above that, the, commission, the Arts Commission goal is to raise the appreciation for the arts of the South Brunswick community. And having a high quality art gallery in the municipal building is very much in furtherance of that goal. It's open whenever the building is open and in the evenings when there are meetings. And, um, and we're just really lucky to have these people here, to have the Township Commission support doing all of this because the Township pays for it. And how long will the artwork be on display here? This show runs from tonight through August 4th, about 10 weeks. So people have till August 4th to come in and take a look and enjoy the work. Thank you very much. Give me your name. Uh, my team Levin. And uh, what, what town are you from? East Brunswick. East Brunswick? Yes. And tell me a little bit about this work right here that you've done. That is a work. It is a representation of the uh, event that happened during the World War II in uh, Minsk, Belarus. And at that time, uh, it was uh, Minsk ghetto, very famous ghetto where thousands and thousands of people, uh, uh, Jewish people, uh, died there just because they were Jewish. Okay. And uh, at one point, at one day, uh, it was a huge pit was, uh, was, 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 was digged out in the forest and many, many thousand people were brought there and they were killed. They were killed alive. And that is the species about that event. Okay. And how long did it take you to, to do it? Maybe a day or two. And is this what you do? Are you an artist by trade? No, it's my hobby. It's your hobby? What, do you, what is your trade? I work as a programmer. A programmer? And uh, so is this like um, what you do to relax when you come home from... Uh, exactly. And uh, what did you think when you when your pieces were selected to be part of this particular show? I feel very good about that because many people can look at the, at the artwork and enjoy it. And okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Um, the artists are so joyful to share their talents with us and to keep you know, the artwork hanging here for the month 
and anyone who comes to our municipal building can see what's done by our local people that engages them. Uh, I just love this evening. And how important is this for the township? You're a councilwoman, but you're also the liaison to the Arts Commission. It has been my pleasure to be the liaison to the Arts Commission. Um, they, they're involved in so much, and just doing this particular exhibit every month, and it changes, and to have people coming to appreciate the art, it's just mind-boggling, and you know we are working on trying to get a performing arts center where the artwork would have a place to be hung, where they don't have to take it down and keep replacing it as often. Maybe some pieces can be here, but the artwork is so beautiful that people have bought some of the artwork at the end of the exhibit because it's just so outstanding. And, and what would you tell people who haven't gotten a chance to come out here and, and see the gallery at the municipal building? I would tell them to please make a point of coming when you come to either pay your taxes or your water bill or to see somebody here to make sure that you take a little stroll down the art gallery. It's well worth seeing. If you have to come for a meeting of any kind, just take that extra few minutes to come and take a stroll down here. You'll appreciate the art and the beautiful work that people do.